patterns going into this week, trying to keep them under wraps? Um, I just got to keep an eye on them. Uh, you know, uh, can't be chasing anything, and we got to keep our eyes in the right spot and just make sure that you know when he, when he does pull it or when he does run that we have a guy there. Um, you know, that's it really just comes down to discipline. Uh, you know, with every guy doing their assignment. Now that he's more of a passer, what do you do to get to the quarterback? Oh, How does that mean, change this week? You know it. He's still he's still a threat back there. So um, you know if you get to him, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna escape. So that that hasn't changed. Um, so you know we still we still gotta you know contain the pocket, stay in our rush lanes, and not let a uh, you know not let him uh, you know split us. Uh, you know that's something that we we definitely emphasize and we gotta improve on. Um, you know we saw in the UNLV game that quarterback we knew he was a running quarterback and he was able to to split a few. Um, and that's that's something that we gotta improve on. When you prepare, do you still look at the Khalil Tate from last season? Because you don't know when that ankle is going to get right, and they could bring out something totally different. Uh, yeah, we have. I mean, we just got to, we just got to, um, you know, be mindful of it. Uh, you know, it, it could always happen, and we know that he can. Uh, if he's healthy, he can run at any time he wants. So um, we're going to go into the game with, uh, you know, not assuming anything, and, and see how it goes. But, you know, as the game goes on, we can be able to be more. More, more sure of everything. With the discussion this week about the whole targeting thing and all that, do you think there's kind of a target on you that uh, you have to like be extra careful? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I'm just gonna have to uh, uh, focus on on staying low. Um, you know, I, I haven't had a problem with it in the past, and uh, you know, just the last couple games, it's just unfortunate that, that I mean, it was. It was not on purpose, but uh, it was unfortunate. So you know they're going to keep an eye on me. So, um, but I think the chances of, uh, of it happening again are low. I mean, it hasn't happened throughout my career, and you know I haven't haven't, haven't had any intentions to do it. Porter, Arizona's got a good passing attack, good ground game. Are you focusing either as a defensive unit or personally on kind of focusing on one of those aspects of their game, their offense? Um, I mean, you got to focus on both. Uh, you know you. You got to stop the run to be able to pass rush, and, and um, so they, they really work together. Uh, you know, you don't get one without the other. So you got to be able to, um, you know, be be uh, you know great in all phases. Uh, so you, you got to focus on both. That's for sure. I know it's hard to tell because Wazoo is so, so yep. heavy on the pass. Yep. But where do you feel like your run games improved uh, since UNLB? Um, as a defense, yeah. Uh, uh, I think you know we've we've just became more experienced. Uh, you know we were messing up on the little things early in the season, and you know I'm sure that we're still going to have plenty of mistakes. But you know we're getting better, and we're not we're not making those little mistakes as much. And you know as we start to you know minimize those, I think our our, our run game defense is going to you know continue to improve and get better. So that's just a um, it's just a you know experience thing, and the defense just gelling together. Have you noticed Khalil Tate this year supposedly has like an ankle injury mm -hmm. and being forced to throw it more? Have you noticed that much just watching him? Um, yeah, you can see him, uh, you know, limping on it. Um, you can see that you can tell that it bothers him in a, in a couple clips. But I think at the same time, I think um, well, you know, you can't assume anything. But I, I think he's focusing more on the passing game and and, and trying to be more of a passer because that's what it looks like he's doing. Um, whether it's the ankle or whether it's him, you know, trying to throw the ball more, uh, that's something that, that he's doing right now. But we can't we can't go into the game, you know, assuming anything. So we got to be prepared for everything. Or does it seem like practice has been more intense over the last couple of weeks, especially today? It seemed like you guys were really getting into it in the, in the scrimmage at the end there. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, got, I mean, took two losses early in the year, and you know, I think that fired everybody up. Nobody, um, you know, nobody expected that, nobody wanted that, and, and nobody wants to. You know, go through that again. So, you know, we're going to make sure that we're we're preparing, you know, to our fullest. Everybody's preparing and competing and getting better every practice. How surprising is it that you guys only have two turnovers? Um, yeah, it's surprising. I mean, you know, uh, I think that they'll come, and when they do, they'll come in bunches. But uh, um, that's something that we, we, I mean, we certainly need to improve on, and that's going to help our offense more. It's going to help our team overall. So. Um, 
I think, you know, like I said, I think they're gonna they're gonna start coming and they're gonna start coming in bunches. You can't really can you practice that, or is it more just being um, optimistic and instinctive and you know, in game? It's a little bit of both. Uh, you know, there's there's always times where um, in practice that you got to work on. You know, always always trying to strip the ball, always looking for that opportunity. Um, so you, that's something you can definitely work on. But you know, the opportunity is not always there, and, and you know, a lot of times it's a rare opportunity to see that. And a lot of times, you know, um, it's the offense making a mistake or just something little. So. Um, you know, it's surprising, but it's not the end of the world. I think they're going to come, and you know, like I said. Did you guys do any 